thing is there is literally no one around right now and Loki getting a bit freaked out. There is some serial killer out there. The only thing that separates him and I are how fast Cardi and I can run. Now if he's some old serial killer then I reckon we got the legs on him to be honest. If he has a rifle or something though we're kind of f***ed. We're just going to have to duck and weave kind of worm our way through the bullets but yeah wish me luck guys. There is no one around, no one will be able to hear me scream. Good evening everyone. Today we are hitchhiking in the middle of nowhere because I had to sell all of my assets to pay for my turkesterone addiction. Before we go on our road trip, the first thing we need to do is pack our bag. But of course, the most key part of packing our bag is making sure we got the right anabolic food for the trip. So I'm thinking of bringing some food for the road just in some containers. I won't have a microwave or anything, so it's got to be really accessible. So we've got all of our ingredients here that we're going to transform into our meal prep in like 10 seconds. An egg, light cheese, and spinach kind of blend there, which is delicious. Some shredded turkey. Then we got the chili barbecue sauce, jalapenos, a bit of salad dressing, low calorie, of course, and then some additional salad leaves. Um, I'll put that into this container here. Then we just got a protein pancake with about 100 grams of frozen raspberries below. We've got Cardi's meal prep because of course my man has to eat as well. Oh, and of course we just got some of the raisin bread here as well as a cheeky little quest bar. So we've got it all in containers and now we just need to fit it into this lunch box. And you know what? It's a bit of a stretch. It doesn't exactly close, but it'll be all right. We're also gonna bring one of these no sugar Powerade because they're like 10 calories. I can't really do latte art, but it sure does taste really good. So we're just sitting here, stuck in traffic. I think we're gonna go get some coffee though, feeling a little bit tired. Check out the setup though. So we got Cardi in the front seat with his little blanket, he's just sleeping. We got all the gear back there. I don't know, probably gonna have to be a Macca's coffee. I wish Australia had Starbucks drive through because I always see like the American YouTubers getting their, you know, plastic cups with like vanilla, caramel, all sorts of wacky flavors with some nitro and I don't know, that seems sick to be honest, whereas here you can't really get a whole lot, so seems like a huge upgrade. So we've got our ice latte from McDonald's. It's not too bad, it's quite sweet, probably filled with sugar and too many calories in it, but we will just ignore that for now. But yeah, we need Starbucks drive through it's ridiculous. Smacking down our first meal, there's a like steam train behind me here, and there's like this bridge or something that I saw on the internet, it looks really cool, looks like a place I've been in Sri Lanka, so I am going to try to find that. Um, I've got no idea though, because the Google Maps said it was at a place but there was nothing there so i'm gonna to have to ask some of the locals where it is yeah. used to as well but now the years have got me yeah that's right that's cool cardi you want to come up oh sweet so that's how it runs like that yeah so this was normally an oil burner yeah but you know coal yeah yeah and then what this is got a tubes going through which have the water yeah this is the firebox. You imagine how much fire you could fit in there. So is that how those old style trains would run with an actual yeah, fire in there? Yeah, the water. Yeah. Makes the steam. Yeah. Captures the steam. And then the, then the valve, this valve opens and closes and that governs the speed. Yep. Then you've got the brakes and other levers that if they were wow. still on here. That's awesome. And, uh, so this used to be an old train truck, did it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, this was all railway station. Frankston was, Line? Well, the Frankston line? No, to, <laughs> went to Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Went to Warrigal first. Okay. If you have a look in there, you go into that building there. Yeah, yeah. Cardi, come on. How long have you been training for? Um, well, I'm like a power lifter, so the kind of bigger weights for strength. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah you know that. that. What, that uh, that big American guy in the, in the, in the Norwegian. Kind of like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. More, more for strength than mu muscles, you know? Yeah, this is the actual uh, snow train. Oh, wow. It runs from Melbourne to, to Melbourne. Cool. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you for showing me. 
Hardy, say hi. Be How nice. Seven months old. Well, this one's 12 years old. 12 years, there we go. Now we're going to go exploring for this trestle bridge. I have no idea where we're going. It kind of gave me some direction down this way. I think there's a cool river down here as well, so we're just going to go exploring and, you know, it's kind of the way I like it, just a, a free kind of free journey, do whatever we want. Found a really good solution to have both hands free here. I've tied the dog lead up to my bag and Cardi just manages it himself. So I can do whatever I want. Got the camera. The guy before at that train station is like, oh, you're looking pretty big, buddy. I used to train as well, but the year's got the best of me. How long have you been training for? And I'm like, oh, like four years. I'm kind of a power lifter, you know, so I train more for strength, not size. And he's like, oh yeah, you're like um, that American guy and um, that Norwegian guy. I, th I feel like he meant Eddie Hall and what's his name, Thor. Obviously Thor is Icelandic and Eddie Hall is British, but I reckon the guy was pretty close regardless and he had an idea of strong man, which is a completely different sport, but yeah. Anyway, he kind of knew what he was talking about, but yeah, credit to him, credit to the big man. Bro, what the fuck? Is there like a nuclear attack? Is there a goddamn shit, bro? Am I in a like Indiana Jones where they have that nu nuke town and they send the nuke off? Thing is, there is literally no one around right now, and low key getting a bit freaked out because if there is some serial killer out there. The only thing that separates him and I are how fast Cardi and I can run. Now, I've got the endurance. Actually, I've got a pulled hammy, or a torn hammy rather, that I'm recovering from. So, push comes to shove, I'm just gonna have to burn through it, honestly. Cardi, mate, you're gonna be able to pick up your own weight here. I reckon Cardi can kind of, he can pounce and stride like a little fox. So, you know, if he's some old serial killer, then I reckon we got the legs on him to be honest. The car's probably a few kilometers away, so we will need that endurance. If he has a rifle or something though, we're kind of fucked. We're just gonna have to duck and weave, kind of worm our way through the bullets, but yeah, wish me luck, guys. There is no one around, no one will be able to hear me scream. Is he gonna be up here? In front of us, maybe? Behind us? What do we think? We had a quick fit check. All right, so we got Air Max 95s on with the uh, nine to five lifters socks. Just a nice black setup. Then we got the the nine to five compound shorts, best shorts in the game. Then we got this Gymshark top. I think it's the recess top that they sent down. One of the t-shirts they sent down. It's pretty dope. So yeah, we got the stees. We've also got some rings on. I had a gold pinky ring and I've just realized it's not on me anymore. So, Bro, are you kidding? We've just got here and it says it's closed. And this bridge, which you can normally walk across, says it's closed as well. So, I don't know if that's a path down there we can go, but we're gonna try to find a way down anyway, I reckon. Some, something out of Indiana Jones. Should we just airbex at Cardi? What do you reckon, Urbex? Right, so we're trying to see if there's a way down this way. Cardi, move over, mate. Come on. We need space for two of us. This is pretty fucking dodgy, not gonna lie. Okay, that doesn't look like it is a good way to go down. That just looks like a steep cut off there, not gonna lie, man. What do you reckon? Is this sign optional? Like I could so easily just jump over the fence with the dog here and go to the other side. But I don't know if that would result in me falling through it. And legit dying. That's the question. <laughs> Seems fucking sketchy as. Like sure, it looks like you can just go down that way. Alright, you know what we're gonna do, Cardi? Alright, definitely illegal. Cardi, I'm gonna chuck you over first, mate. You'll be alright, mate. Come on. You can do it, mate. Do 
Hold on. <laughs> Get Urbex, bro. So here it is. It's a pretty cool train line. Um, there's a family over here who just rocked up who went the same way as I did. And they're trying to find their way down. I doubt they'll have any luck though because it's like a river or a stream. Bro, I feel like this is Minecraft in real life, right? Because you know when you go exploring for diamonds and whatever and you're like four maps away from home, you need to remember which way is which. Kind of the same deal here because I don't really remember where I am. But I'm like, oh yeah, at this road here, it is a right. I'm this one's for all my GTA players out there. What was Lord's best song on one of the GTA radio stations? There's your answer. Absolute banger. Wait, lad, what do you reckon? Stop at the pub, go for a few cold ones, recharge before the next adventure. Nah, it sounds catabolic to me, bro. Second feed of this little road trip, Quest Bar, which of course we know is delicious. Do you guys know my favorite thick cut raisin bread? I'm just gonna be having three slices of that. I just wanted to stop in front of me. Dude, we are so high up in the mountains now. I can barely see in front of me. Look at that. Suss that out. We are, you can't even see how high up it is, but it's a little bit scary. Um, but we got our anabolic feed and we got a car, so let's get it. Okay, this is actually pretty bad now. Fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like 80 k's an hour here, bruv. I'm doing 20. This, uh, this reminds me of the time I was in Sri Lanka, right? We were heading to a town called Ella. Um, now, Ella is like a rainforest town in kind of central Sri Lanka. Um, and we're in like this little taxi or something and it was way worse than this the fog like you genuinely could not see in front of you whatsoever um and i was with two girls and we were like literally thinking we were gonna die because we you could see like glimpses of how high up you were in the mountain and you were literally on the edge of the mountain it was so scary and the guy was absolutely flying and we were heading to this hostel called tomorrowland uh it was on the top of this mountain in ella and it was pretty it was like a we thought it was a cult when we walked in because all these people like doing drugs and stuff and they were all whack like hippies and shit and we were like fearing for our lives. It was an absolute experience, let me tell you that, but these roads just cleared up here now actually, but kind of reminded me of that time. So as you can see here, it is looking a bit safer. Let's hope it stays like this. Anyway, story time with Gab. Bruv, we cannot see anything up here. What do we got? Welcome to Mount Bor Bor. Anything up here anyway. I think there's like a mountain bike track up here. Um, but yeah. Cardi. Cardi. What do you reckon? Should we get out of here, bud? <laughs> Like out here, we've got a damn river. It's pretty cool. This is sick. It's like Forza, Forza out here. It's a cool route. We're racing through it. Going to set some PBs. Being careful in the rain though, because it's a bit slippery. Lads, it is currently feeding time at the zoo. We're back at the train for a little pit stop. And Cardi, you got your meal prep here, brother. Enjoy that, mate. We literally just have the protein pancake, which with some raspberries in there. There you go, bud. Just so it doesn't spill. And we are back home. It's been a big day. It's like 9 p.m. now. I'm tired as, and we are tucking into our final meal of the day which is just some anabolic pasta. We got the tennis final on in the background. It is the women's 
final. Let's hope Ash Barty can win. But yeah, well, I reckon we've had 3,200 calories today because I had a chicken and rice meal first and I'm finishing off on the pasta. But I remember to put the macros up for each individual meal we had on the road trip. But yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope it was action packed. If you guys do want to support me, make sure you subscribe, like the video. That's very important. Not enough people liking the video. Chuck two comments down for the algorithm. And yeah, just show some love in those comments. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Also, any feedback and ideas for future videos. Uh, you can follow me on all my social network platforms, Instagram and TikTok being the main ones. If you want to support me in a monetary way, you can buy my new power building program, supplements, use code NTF, and you can buy my apparel line as well and all that. So guys, thanks so much for the support and thanks for watching the video. Cheers.